This is my new journal. I personalized it myself. You guessed it. My name's Natasha, and I put my name on everything. I did this myself, and you can make one too. Let me show you how. Tasha with Cricut and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute notebook and how to personalize it and I'm doing that with my Cricut Explore 3. The things that you'll need today to do that are just a notebook or whatever you want to personalize and then I mentioned the Cricut Explore 3. We'll also use my extra large scraper here as well as this tool that we like to call the weeding tool. I also have just a pair of scissors on hand just in case. And then I have my trimming tool here, which helps me trim down material straight. And then I am using vinyl today, which is just a material that's sticky on the back. And there's tons of different colors and you can stick it onto different things, but I like to work with vinyl the most. And then we'll also use transfer tape, which will help me in the vinyl design later. The last thing we'll need is design space, which is the software that sends everything that I design or customize, sends all that info and design to the machine so that the machine can work its magic. And so we're gonna start in design space. I've already selected a design that I want. I'm using these super cute polka dots and I want to customize it so it has my name on it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I've inserted this blue square here because I am a visual person, so I wanna see what it looks like in the software before I actually go cut. So I'm going to resize this square here to the size of my notebook or my journal, and it's a five by eight. And I'm going to right click and send this to the back so I can really start to see what it'll look like when it's done. And the polka dots actually look like they're the perfect size, so I'm gonna keep them that size, but I wanna add my name to it. I'm going to click on this text box and type my name. As you can see, there's this cute font that I've already selected, it's called Brown Sugar. But if I wanted to change that, then I go up here where it says font, and there are tons of different fonts to choose from. In fact, I spend the most of my time when I make projects selecting which font is the right one for me. But I like this one right here. And I mentioned that I want to do all one color vinyl. I'm gonna do white today. So when I click on my name, I'm gonna click this box here and change it to white. And this helps me see what my final project will look like. And once I have that where I want it, I'm gonna get rid of the blue box because if I kept it on here, that would tell my machine that it wants me to cut a blue square too, but I don't want that, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to center my name a little bit more. And once I have everything the way that I like it, I'm ready to hit make it. So once I have my design and everything ready, I'm going to open my machine for the big reveal. And it may look intimidating. There's a lot of things going on in here. Like what does A and B mean? Don't worry. You don't have to worry about that. It's really simple. I'm gonna hit continue. And we're gonna connect to my device via Bluetooth. And that's perfect for me because who loves hauling around cords? Nobody does. And I know that it's connected to Bluetooth because now the power button is blue. So then I'm gonna go back into design space and tell it what material I'm going to cut or that I'm telling it to cut with. And I'm working with vinyl, like I said. So I'm gonna select vinyl and now it's saying, okay, you've told me what material you're gonna cut with and now I'm ready to cut. So it has this blinking button, which means I'm going to insert the material and load it into the machine. This is the vinyl that I talked about. It's super versatile. There's lots of different colors, but today I'm just working with white since I have a colored notebook. Um, and so I'm gonna insert it in here. And now I'm inserting it this way because there's these little guiders that help me know that this is the right way. Like I've trimmed this from the roll that it comes from, but I know it's not this way because it doesn't fit the whole length with the material. So I'm gonna flip it this way and slide it underneath these little guiders here. And once I hit these rollers, 
I can click the button and now it's measuring, it's thinking, it's gonna say, hey, okay, I know you designed everything in design space, but let's make sure that you have the right amount of material. So it's thinking and it said, okay, you've got the right amount. Let's go ahead and go. Okay, now that this load unload button is blinking again, that means that we are ready to unload. And there's way more material here than will fit on my journal, so I'm going to use my trimming tool to help me cut down and save. Okay, so now I'm just making sure I don't trim down where my design is. Once I'm sure, I can trim this side. Okay, and we'll set that aside. And now we're going to take out the excess material from this cutout. So, like I said, I think it's amazing that the Cricut machine was able to calculate the exact pressure it needed to just cut the design that I've made on Design Space. This is when the weeding tool comes in handy. So I'm going to take my corner and just kind of pick at it. And now you can see that there are two layers to this vinyl material. This is where you begin to see the sticky part. And now I'm just gonna pull back this material and that's when you can start to see that the design is revealed. Let's see, there we go. There's one polka dot, there's another. And you can just slowly, sometimes you just have to make sure it doesn't come out with what you pull away. So I'm just gonna slowly do that. And now we're getting to my name part. And this is a little bit more delicate than the polka dot, so I'm just gonna make sure that it stays back on the backer and make sure that my whole name is there. And this is when the weeding tool also comes in handy because I can help pick out the parts that need to be taken out. So I'll just pick up this part of the N here, this part of the H, there we go. There you go. And so you can tell that the design here, this is the part that I'll throw away, is left on the backer. So I'll set that aside. And I'm gonna use my weeding tool again to take out the insides of the A's or any letter that needs to be taken out so it doesn't get transferred to my journal. And I'll stick that there. And you can start to see your design come to life. Now, I could take any polka dot from this and stick it where I wanted to on my journal, but because I've designed it exactly the way that I want it in design space, I want everything left where it is perfectly placed. And so the best way to do that is with transfer tape. And especially because all the letters are so delicate and like if I lift up the N, like I want it exactly where it is next to the A. And so I'm going to use transfer tape and measure out the design that I have here with my vinyl with my transfer tape to make sure I have the right, the right amount that I need. I'm just going to take my scissors, even though I can't cut straight. It's helpful that this transfer tape has grid lines so I can kind of cut as straight as possible. Now I'm going to take the transfer tape off of its backer. Now, just like its name, transfer tape. It's tape that helps me transfer my design. I'm going to kind of roll the corner of it so I can lift up the transfer tape from its backer. And this is sticky too. I love that it's clear so I can really see that my whole design is getting covered by the transfer tape. So I will place that right over my vinyl sticker design and this is when I'll use my scraper. And I'll do what's called burnishing. So I'm making sure that my vinyl is sticking to the transfer tape. So I will scrape it a couple of times this way this way, then I'm gonna flip it on its back and do the same thing. Okay, now I am going to separate the transfer tape from the backer and now everything should be on the transfer tape. 
and I'm going to flip it this way to make sure that gravity helps me and that my design is fully on the transfer tape. Oh, and we're missing a polka dot, which is okay. That's why we take things slow, make sure everything's transferred. I'll just burnish that one a little bit more. And it's a little stubborn, it's okay. There we go. And that's now trash. And now when I hold up this transfer tape, that's how my design looks. And it's looking awesome. I just have to put it on my journal now. So I'm gonna line it up just where I want it. This is personal preference now. But because I designed it in design space with the right dimensions, it should fit perfectly. So I'm going to stick it down with my fingers and then burnish it again. And there's a little divot there, so just make sure to get that. Okay, here's another time when the scraping tool comes in handy. I'm going to make sure that it helps me keep my design on the journal. So I'm gonna lift up this transfer tape and kind of guide it as I go to make sure it holds down. So you can see that there's one polka dot down. Let's make sure this one gets down. There we go. There's another one. Oh, don't worry, it's okay. Nothing's final. We can make sure that it gets stuck down there. And I'll just touch it up with my fingers. Voila, look at that. It's so cute. Okay, and this transfer tape is still sticky and I can use it again. So I can take one of the extra backers and stick it for a future project and it's not one and done. You can reuse it for future projects. And this is my finished journal and I love it because it looks professionally made and no one knows that I did it myself, but I feel like it's way more exciting and I feel way more accomplished that I did it myself because I can do anything. <laughs> anything with the Cricut. There are so many things that you can make with Cricut and there are so many videos and you should check them out because you can learn how to do, how to make a doormat, how to make labels. There's so many different ideas and I hope you check them out.